Hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Uh, welcome to my tutorial AS400 to IBM I beginner to intermediate level. I was planning to start this tutorial which explains the basic and core concept of IBM I and now this is going to be my first video of this tutorial. Just to give some background, during 1969 IBM system was called as System 3 and then during 1988 uh, System 38 and 34 were combined to form a system called application system 400 otherwise called as AS400 and then AS400 has evolved with the latest technology and after being named as i-series now it's called as IBM Power System or IBM IE from 2008. Below are some uh, key technology update happened along with IBM IE. So we can see uh, from 2004 um, IBM is introduced with the uh, Apache web server and then uh, from 2007 MySQL becomes the no certified MySQL storage engine in DB2. In 2011, IBM and Zen Technologies joined for PHP in IBM I. 2013, IBM starts supporting Ruby and Rails and Ruby programming. And from 2014, Node.js and Python has joined the party. Uh, now we are in 2017 and we, we still mention this as a AS400 server. Then we are talking about a server which was there in 1988. But absolutely we are doing more than that. After this video, I hope uh, we can explain our friends that AS400 is not AS400 now. It has been evolved with the name of IBM I with a lot more power. So it's been 25 years actually. So uh, you, you can see a webinar session in helpsystem.com in which the IBM chief architect Steve Will has explained uh, how the AS400 has evolved from 1988 to 2017 with all the phases. When you have time, uh, Please look into it, it's worthwhile. Okay, uh, from my upcoming videos, right, we are going to see uh, the very basics of AS400 or otherwise called as IBM I and key concepts and stuffs. So, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.